What's up, everybody? So uh, I've actually decided uh, it's been a few months since I've done summoning sessions uh, for people, and it doesn't seem like anything's going to be getting fixed soon. And you know, no one else is kind of trying to put their foot down against this. So if I'm not summoning, then you know, pretty much anyone else will do it. So I've decided, you know what? I'm just going to have to really, really caution people with their accounts. I'm going to be putting out disclaimers before every single video. Uh, for warning people on protecting your account and then this way you guys can participate with uh, the summonings where I can do these summoning sessions and then of course we'll have our massive summoning session later down the road stay tuned for that announcement don't worry guys we are still going to be doing a massive summoning uh, session where we can like group summon and stuff but while we wait for that I was thinking maybe we can just do uh, some summonings for people kind of like on a weekly basis uh, let me know what you guys think um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some summons for this guy right here and I'm actually excited. I, I really missed the summons. I really did, guys. Trust me. Uh, but I thought it was for the best to try to lay low for a little bit and see how that goes. So this guy has 228 scrolls and three legendaries. He has quite a bit of monsters on his list. And I know you guys probably don't want me to talk. You guys probably just want me to summon. But uh, we'll go ahead and summon. And if we get anything that he wants, we'll go ahead and point it out. And of course, any nat fives are welcome. Okay, so 228 scrolls. Let's pray that we get something good. Oh, we gotta go to uh, just some lucky channel. We'll go, oh, wait, 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 wait. We'll go to channel 69. That's our lucky channel. Channel 69. All right, so I just recently saw how like obi wan Newbie and stuff has been getting so many nat fives, and it's mainly been in channel 69. I don't think it really makes a difference, but uh, it's just, I don't know, it makes me feel a little bit better that I'm in uh, a really dank channel like 69. So let's just keep moving. Um, okay, 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 okay. Oh, shit. Okay. This is actually one of the monsters that he's been wanting already, just like that, within 10 scrolls, Vertihill. That is one of the monsters on his list. He's going to be so freaking happy for this. Okay, I don't know why the video cut out, but it just cut out there for a bit. Um, I guess we're going to just keep going. I don't exactly know why it cut out there. Uh, let me just really quickly delete that. There, we've got some space just in case it was a space error, and then we'll keep going. So we did get Verta Hill in case um, that wasn't recorded. I'm just not sure, but Verta Hill is on his list. Chisun as well as a few others, but I don't quite remember the entire list. It's quite a bit, and we got a samurai. Okay, so I actually got Tosi. But I don't think any of the other ones are worth building. Tosi and Sige, the light and dark ones. I don't think the fire, water, or wind ones are incredibly useful. Because there's just so many other monsters that can do what they do. But, no big deal. Uh, it can be fodder if he ever summons an LD one. I really wish I held on to all of my samurais. Okay, here we go. 20, we're 26 scrolls in. So far we've gotten a few lightnings. We got Vertihill, which is incredible. But, uh... Is it? Oh, okay. Here we go. We got Olivia. She's actually really good. She's actually one of the monsters that I've wanted to do underrated and underused because she's actually really quite good. She's got a research ability that actually cleanses, which is actually really good. And then she also has a defense buff. So she can actually be quite incredible if you give her a chance. I know Fwa uses her and she can be really annoying. Believe me, in live PvP, it was really annoying going up against her. So if you guys give her a chance, she can actually definitely shine. And of course, if you don't want to use her, she is skill ups for Lisa, probably the best cleanser in the game for Rift. All right, so let's keep moving on. Let's hope we get more average lightnings. Okay, here we go. And we got a Water Undying, which is fusion. I don't think he needs this particular fusion piece, but uh, it's fusion nonetheless. So I believe he can just hold on to that for now, maybe for skill ups or for future fusion. Uh, fake net four, no big deal. We'll keep moving on. So so far, only Verta Hill is the noticeable summon. Oh, oh, okay. We got to put some stuff in storage. So yeah, Verta Hill is the only notice, like the only uh, noteworthy summon so far. Uh, the other ones are actually quite good, but Verta Hill, Verta Hill is the main one. All right. So what do we got here? We got Galleon. Or I'm sorry, not Galleon. Uh, Karak. Okay, so Galleon would have been a better one. I think Galleon's actually on his list. I don't believe he actually has Galleon, which is quite unfortunate. Galleon is quite good, actually. He's probably the, the best AoE defense breaker in the game. Or, I mean, he is the best defense breaker in the game. Um, so if it was a water one, that would have been 10 times better. 
but skill ups, I guess, until he gets the galleon. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. and... Alright, another fusion piece. He's been hoping for vertihills. We got the fire one, now we got a wind vampire. That's alright, I guess. I mean, it's fusion again. Another fusion piece. Uh, oh, okay, another lightning. And we got Draco, the fire brownie magician. Now, Draco is actually pretty underrated. You guys, a lot of people don't uh, really view him as a good monster, but I've seen him do some pretty good damage on a speedy Despair set. So obviously he needs some good runes, but again, Fua has a very nice Despair Draco, so if you guys give him a chance, he can do quite well. And I believe with live PvP coming up, since he is a multi rolled monster with built-in violent procs, he can actually be quite amazing. So if you guys just give him that, that tiny chance, and you need to max skill him as well. If you don't max skill him, obviously he's not going to be uh, as good. Alright, so we are about 60 scrolls in, just over 60 scrolls in. We've got 160-ish left. We're hoping for some more lightnings. We need a good lightning rate. So far, it seems like it's been average. We did get Vertihill, which is a pretty extraordinary summon. Uh, oh, okay, so now we got the Water Near Sword Fighter. Uh, this guy's all right. I've seen some people that like him. I've, you know, I've never really seen any particular reason to build him, but uh, you know, maybe he could be good. He was a, actually a Hall of Heroes a while back. Okay, let's come on. Give us another lightning. We're actually gonna just try to plow through these a little bit. There's so many summons. Like I'm just trying to get these done and not make like a 20 minute summoning video, but I don't think. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Oh man, dude! Another fusioning piece, another fusion piece. I feel like I feel like that's like the almost the entire. Oh my god, that that's that's three of the Veramos fusions right there. I mean, he's already got Veramos, but dude, are, have you ever considered building a second Veramos? I don't know what to tell you, man. That's like that's like all three fusion pieces right there. That is literally three fusion pieces right there, and then you just need the Dark Yeti. Thank God you don't have LD scrolls, because I'd be afraid would we, that we would summon the Dark Yeti. No, but seriously though, if we actually did have an LD scroll to pop and we got the Dark Yeti, I don't know if I would be upset that we summoned a bunch of fusion pieces or impressed that we summoned every single fusion piece for Veramos. Because right now we're looking at 3 out of 4, and the only thing that's stopping us at summoning that last one is that it's a dark monster. So, I don't know what to really think of this, honestly. It's kind of awkward, but alright, so we got uh, the Water Lich, Regal. So this is, an, again, another kind of meh kind of summon. I mean, he's actually pretty good, but Fuko is a better counterpart for Necro and stuff like that. Uh, so we're just going to keep moving on. More skill ups, honestly. It's just been a bunch of skill ups, uh, apart from Vertihill. And we summon the Wind Mermaid. Again, another Holly Hero unit. Just, you know, you don't want to build the Wind Mermaid. She's really not that good. Uh, at least not in my eyes. Uh... And then we got, oh, shoot, I forgot her name, the Wind Pirate. Yeah, some people build her. I honestly don't really, I've never really seen her in action. We're getting some, okay, so we're about, we're, we're approaching like the halfway mark. Uh, we've gotten Vertihill and, a, you know, a couple good Nat 4s, a bunch of Fusion pieces, and then a bunch of other, you know, just kind of amateur ones. But Jesus, man, we're just getting a lot of the, the really amateur Nat 4s. You know, you win some, you lose some, but I think right now, we're standing at a good lightning rate. Actually, a pretty, really, actually a really good lightning rate. I think the only thing at this point is that he needs to start getting a, the uh, the good the good uh, attributes, because we're getting stuck with some of the bad attributes of these monsters, right? But the the water succubus is actually pretty good. That's the speed leader skill if he doesn't already have one. A lot of people also underrate the water succubus Azalea, I believe is her name. She's actually pretty good as well if you uh, need a speed leader, 24% speed leader. And it's water attribute, which helps you if you're running something with Lucians, which a lot of people do single Lucians with. So Lucians obviously won't be able to take out fire monsters, so Azalea can actually do that for you. Just just a piece of advice if you guys, you know, you're missing something in your team composition. Let's say you don't have Galleon, but you have Lucians. You can actually build up some pretty strong Lucians uh, if you guys really are in need of that. And we got another Lightning. Uh, the Wind Barbaric King. I don't really know how I feel about him you know I've, I've, I've seen some people that like him but mainly people that have built him don't really use him anymore or didn't really ever use him I don't I can't say I would 
ever build in myself, but I've got the light bar breaking. Okay. That's just fucking great. Okay, let's summon some more fusion pieces, please. Like, that'd be just freaking great. <laughs> Seriously. How many fusion pieces have we summoned? I mean, our lightning rate is really good, but Jesus Christ, man. Can we just, like, get some good nat fours here? All right, onward with our summons, man. I mean, we're getting... We're not getting horrible lightning rates. We're just not getting the nat fours that we want to get. We need stuff like Jasoon. We need stuff like Briand. Uh, I didn't actually see if he has Briand or not, but he definitely wants Jasoon. Just soon as actually one of his most desired net fours. All right, so we got the wind. We got a ring. The wind nine tail box. Another fusion piece. Jesus, man. I think today is the day to summon fusion pieces, guys. I'm just gonna tell you this now. I do this because I care for you. If you guys want to shortcut your fusions, summon today, like the day of this upload, because today is the day for summoning fusions. This video is uh, living proof. Like seriously. All right, please, 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 something good, man. Ooh, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is actually a good unit. You remember how I was doing the un uh, overrated and overused series with uh, Chloe? This is actually one of the counters to Chloe teams, which is Aquila. Aquila actually gets a lot of, I guess, I don't know. A lot of people don't view him as, like, one of the, uh, the units that you would typically bring on an AO, but I use him everywhere. Uh, he already has Chloe, so it's really not a big deal for Chloe. Again, ta speaking of the devil, right? Uh, another fusion piece, the, the fire beast hunter that we got, but Jesus, man. Fusion everywhere. And another Draco. That's just great. Let's just keep going. Oh, okay. Right off the bat. Another Samurai. Kato. Okay, that's, I mean, that's alright. We'll keep going. We still got 60 scrolls, but Jesus, man. I mean, we have really, really good lightning rates, I feel like, right now. But we're not getting the summons that we want. Just a bunch of samurai, some vampire, uh, a few succubus, or succubi, I should say. Uh, a couple undines, actually. If you guys, honestly, you're looking at these summons, and I'm saying, like, I'm thinking, a lot of these are just repeats, but different attributes. So the way that I think that these actually work is that you summon, and there's, like, a specific pool of monsters that you can, you know, you can pull, like, kind of like, not time based, but uh, more or less, yeah, kind of like it's seeded with time. Uh, cases, I wouldn't really build her either. And then it, it decides your attribute maybe by like a, a random hash of numbers, you know, like a generated sequence, and you can pick one of three for the attributes. So I think that is how it decides your monster and the attribute. So I do believe there's actually like certain pools of monster. I think if you actually waited for there to be a specific monster being summoned by like, let's say, one of your guildies or something, and then you summon in that kind of same time frame. I think you're more likely to actually get it. That's how I ended up getting my first Chasun. I actually waited for people to be summoning Chasun, and they were like posting in chat like, oh my gosh, I just summoned Chasun. And then I just started summoning some scrolls that I saved up, and I actually got Chasun. Uh, I think it ended up being from a legendary that I had, but uh, okay, so Tanya, she's actually she's actually pretty good. Uh, not a lot of people use her. Right now, Stella is all the rage, but you know, Tanya is actually pretty freaking scary. She's kind of like a uh, less run, I guess a less optimal version of the dark, uh, what is it, the dark assassin? I don't remember her name though. Isabel? Isabella? Something like that. But yeah, anyways, back to the summoning thing. Guys, if you guys really are believers in that whole, like, you know, monster pool and stuff like that, seriously, I'm telling you now, save up your scrolls and wait for some people to be summoning those things, and then summon. Because honestly, I worked with Vanessa, you know, I saw Claytano pool, uh, I think it was Camilla, so I summoned, and then I got Vanessa, you know, Valkyries, and, uh, yeah, honestly, it's really incredible. Alright, so we got 11 scrolls left. Let's hope for at least one more Lightning Man, just one more, just to top it all off. We got three Legendaries, hopefully we get something good from the Legendaries, but right now it's looking like we're not going to be ending off on the Lightning. Uh, I guess, I mean, I guess that's alright, but we were hoping for some sick Nat Force. Alright, so we got three, ooh, oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Oh... Uh, fucking god you gotta be kidding me are you, you gotta be kidding me man really seriously another fusion piece jesus christ man come on you gotta give me a break <laughs> oh man i mean i mean you win some you lose some but all right so we've got three legendary scrolls 
We've got three chances at here. Any nat 5 is welcome, of course, but it's not expected. We're hoping for some good nat 4 here. That is what we're looking for, okay? So if you look at the monsters that he has currently summoned, we got him Vert Hill, which I think right now, in his eyes, is probably worth the entire summoning session. He's been trying to get Vert Hill and Chasun. I think those are the two units that he needs the most. But, uh, of course, you know, we want some other summons. We need to be satisfied here. Galleon is the other one that he wanted. And then Chasun. Uh, which is right over here. So Chasun, Galli Lucian, of course, too. He already has Briand. Okay. Alrighty. So he he does have quite a bit of the monsters, but uh, I think Chasun right now would be optimal for him. So let's go ahead and... Alright, let's try it, man. We got three chances here. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Chasun. You need Chasun, man. Or one of the ones that we mentioned. Come on, man. Give us something good. Give us something good. Oh my god, that was actually a unit that was on his list. Holy fuck. This is one of the most OP units for uh, for AD. Wow. Well, shit, man. I guess I was like, oh, it was like, I looked at it and I was like, oh shit, that looks like an oracle. And then I, I was like, oh fuck, dude, she looks so sexy, dude. Oh, dude. Jesus, I, this is bringing back memories. Oh my god, this is bringing back so many memories from when I summoned Braha. It's from a legendary too from TOA, dude. Oh, fuck. Yes. Oh. Well, there you go, man. You still need to soon, but Jesus Christ, man. That was fucking awesome. Alright, come on. We got two left. Give us a nat 4. If we get a nat 5, fuck it, but we need a nat 4. Here we go. Come on. Come on. And Chloe. You already got Chloe. I think skill ups. One more. Come on. Just soon. Just soon, baby. Just soon, Lucian, Galleon, or. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> okay. Come on. Come on, baby. Uh. Kung Fu Girl. Fuck, man. Alright, whatever. Okay. Uh, I think that's totally worth it, man. That summoning session was massive, but Jesus Christ, dude. I, I did the numbers. I crunched the numbers, and man, I get like a nat 5 every like few hundred scrolls like six or seven hundred scrolls or if i'm summoning with like legendaries then it's like every 10 or so legendaries so the fact that we got praha here and one of the nat fours that he wanted which was vertihill which is in storage currently honestly this summoning session was pretty well worth it for him vertihill very very top tier nat four monster obviously you need it for really fast db10 teams and he's really going to do well with it praha one of the most overpowered units for arena defenses i know this i have her she is so freaking good so if this was anything else like let's say this was a brandia or let, you know i'm not saying she's, she's bad but let's say it was something less you know optimal like brandia or let's say it was something you know kind of mediocre like let's say i'm just gonna name a name like kind of like chow or chow or like you know they're good monsters but they're not something that's gonna really really change your game Praha is guaranteed to make him improve in Arena. Once he gets a rune well, and of course, you know, max level, max skill, all that stuff. Gonna help him so freaking much. Uh, you know, man, I'm sorry that we didn't get you a soon. We got you a Vertihill and we got you a Praha. You know, that's just fucking awesome. Seriously. Uh, but, you know, better luck next time on the Chisun hunt. I know how difficult it is to get Chisun. We actually just recently summoned uh, my third Chisun, and I felt bad because there's people in my guild that actually still don't have Chisun. Even though they summon stone rotations every time she comes through. So uh, my my wishes, my prayers go out to you all that don't have Chasun. I hope you guys get her. She's a dream come true. And uh, and yeah, that's going to do it for our long ass summoning session. Jeez, man, that was crazy. That was really long. You really outdid yourself this time, man. But uh, alright guys, if here is the part where uh, we talk about how you guys can participate in these summoning sessions. You guys are going to need to send an email to reefy.com philip at gmail.com now make sure you spell it correctly because there are asshats out there that are faking my email by you know putting one l or putting two periods or something like that trying to catch people sending information or trying to trick them that I, that's me it's not what you're seeing on the screen right now that's how you spell it it'll be in the description uh, that is the only way to spell it okay if you see any other spellings of it it's wrong and they're scammers okay so here's what you need to send me you need to send me your in-game name and password, of course. Make a temporary password, okay? Don't tell me your real password. I don't want to know it. Then you want to send me the server you're on and the scroll amount and what you want summoned. Because if you don't want stuff summoned, like stone rotations and stuff like that, uh, then I won't summon it. 
like uh, right now I don't know if he wanted me to summon the exclusives so I'm not gonna summon them okay so keep that in mind alright guys you need to tell me what you want me to summon what do you do afterwards what you need to do afterwards after I summon for you is you need to go into your account and you need to secure it you need to change your password from whatever it was I don't care if it was your original password or you know temporary one change it no exceptions if you guys uh, screw up later down the road I don't want it to be you know blamed on me it's happened before uh, but I'm very careful with you know how I handle things so just be careful on your side all right so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, I'm just very very careful with this kind of stuff and that's why it's taken me this long to get back into it and uh, I hope you guys I hope it's worth it for you guys all right all right I will see you guys all later I'm super stoked about this Braha frame and he's gonna be freaking out when he sees it I will see you guys next time